welcome in. My name is Ryan. I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, we are talking Aaron Rodgers, two more years. He's saying this was a lost year for him and he saw himself here for at least two seasons. So that means he's playing 2024 and 2025 at least. So I'm excited. Jets are going to have a quarterback for the next two years. But what I'm more excited about, I shouldn't say more excited about it. That's really the, 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 the height of the excitement. But an interesting part of this that I don't think should be overlooked is something I said might happen with this whole Aaron Rodgers saga to begin with, because I think he was going to commit to three years with the Jets anyway, back at that initial conversation. He said, I was only thinking about retiring because he wanted to get less trade assets going to the Packers from his new team, the Jets. But what's interesting, I think they were always going to frame it as two years. And then the option of like, okay, you know what? When we got to trade Zach in the off season, if Rodgers says he's committing to another year, we're not quitting on Zach because he's not good. We're quitting on Zach because a Hall of Fame quarterback wants to be our quarterback for the next few years. So that's this is a very smart move, especially if Zach does play well in these next few games, assuming he you know comes back out of concussion protocol at some point. This is good. This could only help the Jets trade value because now we're going to look more incompetent for the quarterback thing. We're not like, you know, detrimental. Like, like I don't know. It's I feel like if Rodgers was saying like, OK, I'm retiring or I'm moving, you know, I'm only going to do one more year. Then I think the need to hold on to Zach Wilson is probably a little more critical. Now I feel like it's an easier break. It makes both sides look a little bit better. I like this. Yeah, I'm ugh, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm glad Aaron Rodgers come back because like this dude wants to win a Super Bowl. I want two more seasons at it. It changes your draft strategy or at least maybe some people's draft strategy because I've heard a lot of people say, hey, we're this, top, this high up in the draft. Let's take the quarterback now because we're moving off of Zach. This guy can sit for a few years. If Rodgers is here the next two years, that might lessen your urgency to take a high draft pick quarterback. Like maybe you're more okay with taking a, you know, a mid round quarterback to develop for two years. Cause you're not going to rely on him after one season, or maybe you're more likely to take a quarterback in the 2025 draft instead, knowing Rogers is going to be here for two more years and seeing at least how he's performed in practice and some of like the videos and stuff, you, you feel confident that the Achilles is going to come back to 110%. Uh, and then, you know, obviously him not playing the rest of this year. What do I think of that? Ah, I guess it was probably a long shot. Once the Jets got knocked out of playoff contention, it was really tough to ask him to come back. And especially behind this offensive line. Like I would imagine he's happy that he's not coming back and not getting cleared because this offensive line is struggling a little bit. So let's reload in the off season. Let's get some wide receivers. Let's get some offensive linemen. Let's trade Zach for a nice little pick. I think we're going to get more than people expect we would. Just a thought. Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, go Jets. Yeah! E-T-S-J! -E